you're gonna start laying on your back with your feet on a two to four inch step. If you don't have a step, a textbook works well. The step is optional. You can do this with your feet on the floor, but what the step helps with is bringing the ground up to your feet if you're having trouble feeling the foot pressure to help you feel some hamstrings and how that positions your hips and your ribs. So for me right now, I'm completely relaxed. What you're gonna do is make sure that your feet are hip width apart. So if the feet are touching and the knees are out, it defeats the purpose. We also don't want the knees touching and the feet outside the knees. So make sure you have things in line and you have yourself close enough to the step that you have leverage to use your feet to get some hamstrings. What you're gonna do with the toes pointing forward, not turned out, is pressed through the inside edges of the feet. So big toe, ball the big toe, and the heels, and the arches, I want you to feel like they're trying to drive down into the box. Not so much the outside, even though the whole foot is in contact, where you're driving from is the inside edge. So if I'm relaxed and not doing anything, watch my hips as soon as I start to press through my inside edges of my feet. Very subtle tuck. I'm not flooring the gas pedal. I'm just lightly and gently pressing evenly through the inside edges of the feet. And you'll feel some hamstrings start to turn on. If you're cramping, you're probably pressing a little bit too hard. So just ease into it once you reset. Now, once you have that position, that's gonna be an anchor point for your ribs to exhale down to. So your hamstrings have positioned your hips. This is gonna to help to drive air into the back side of you, which you should feel because you're laying on the floor. So when you breathe in following a full exhalation, you'll feel like your back expands against the floor. What you're gonna do here is try to get all the air out. So these ribs deflate, they rotate down, in and back, anchor into the hips. And then when you're gonna hold that position, you're gonna pause, don't breathe for a couple seconds so you can feel it. Then you're gonna silently let the air into your nose. The whole time you're still keeping that inside edge foot pressure to keep these guys online. So I'm gonna demonstrate a couple breaths. You're gonna notice my ribs moving on the inside of my sports bra as if I'm deflating inside them. I'm gonna keep my hands on my ribs. You might even find it helpful to poke your fingers into your obliques, which will contract once you fully exhale. The goal is keep them contracted by focusing on this position of your bones when you breathe in so that they learn how to keep that anchored, air stretches out your back, and now you have a new way to manage that intra-abdominal pressure without having to squeeze anything at all. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. I'm gonna keep exhaling until I can't feel my ribs moving anymore. And then I'm gonna pause, close my lips, breathe in silently through my nose. And I feel that my obliques are still on when I finish breathing in. One more time. I'm imagining exhaling and deflating heavier into the floor as I do this. And then when I breathe in, I'm thinking about staying anchored down to the floor, fully in contact, and that's how I'm getting air to drive into my backside so everything expands, helping my abs to stay turned on so they hold on to that position. <sighs> 